Welcome, welcome, Devils. This time around is Manchester United versus Aston Villa, match day 14. The last result we got was a loss at the Europa League against Astana, 2-1. Uh, uh, what was his name? Lingard. Lingard returns to the starting 11, gets the 1-0, uh, but afterwards, especially in the second uh, half, Astana just kept coming and coming, and uh, we kept fading and fading, and their efforts were rewarded. Now, hats off to the commentators of uh, Univision Deportes or something like that. They uh, figured out the situation that we had. We already qualified for the next uh, step on uh, the Europa League. We have a lot of important games coming up on uh, December, coming up on December. And uh, we played basically a youth team, man. And uh, yeah, there was a lot of stars missing, but uh, freaking Luke Shaw came back and he looked fucking great. Besides that, there was, uh, again, a lot of young kids like Shaw, uh, Chong. Uh, who else did I see? I saw some defender that I honestly haven't seen before. This is a lineup for the Aston Villa game, by the way. Apparently on their Twitter, everybody was complaining like, "Oh my God, uh, I haven't seen Manchester United like fade like that in a while." Uh, speaking of that uh, Astana game, but then they were like, "Well, man, they're playing the kids right now. They're playing the bench, basically." So hats off for the commentators for actually knowing what the hell was going on with the team. Now, I do want to talk about that game against Sheffield United. That What an unbelievable fucking fight that was. And what, a, what a fighting spirit we showed. Like, hats off to my boys. After going 2-0 down uh, on the first half. No, near the second half, I think they got their second one. Uh, the boys scored fucking three goals in a matter of eight minutes. Afterwards, we let go of all three points because of a controversial... Kind of controversial. I... Uh, Goal in the 90th minute from um, Sheffield. But uh, what amazed me the most was just the, the way they were willing to fight. The way they uh, came at uh, Sheffield, you know, just fucking going for it. After the second ball went in, you knew a third one was coming. You absolutely knew it. What I also liked about those goals is that it was uh, led by the uh, youth, you know. Friggin' uh, Williams, who was a defender, actually got the first goal. And afterwards, it was uh, Mason Greenwood, I believe. And then Rashford just capped it off. So apparently, uh, freaking Scott McTominay might be able to feature in this uh, game. I think I have him on the bench just in case. Uh, we saw that uh, Linger came back, obviously, against Astana. And um, what's his name? Well, Pog was not going to be there for a while. Luke Shaw was also back in business, so that's good news, man. Come on, Harry, get on him. No, sir. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know if that would have. Whoa, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Holy shit! One Bizaka just left a huge fucking hole. Oh, man. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Finish! Oh ho ho, what a beautiful goal. Go hug James, go hug James, please. Oh my god, what a setup. Oh my goodness. That was my stuff, right? Look at the setup though. I see you, baby. And he just gets behind that ball. Mmm. Wambazaka, Wambazaka with space to run on. Oh my god. If we could get a good ball in here. No is the answer. Hey good. Oh hello, hello. Martial with a second. Yes. Hello. Good boy. Just a little turnaround. He gets the ball with his back uh, to the goal and just turns around, right? Let's see it. Puts it back. Back to goal. And there it is. Again, if we could match that intensity that we have for those 20 minutes against Sheffield United, man, we would be a force to uh, be reckoned with. If we keep, can keep that kind of uh, momentum going for 70 minutes, forget it. Oh my god, dude, that really should have been a goal. That really, really should have been a goal. Okay, good for keeping the ball in play. Good for keeping the ball in play. 
Here we go. Engage the defenders. Hit it. Oh! Is that Pereira? Yep. What? <laughs> he just fell back. I saw a space right there. You see him coming in. First touch. Oh no, for the hat trick! God dang it! Okay, okay, you can hold your little shape right there, baby. Right there! Here you go. In the middle, in the middle. Oh, Jesus. How come we left it alive like that? What the, what the hell's the matter with us? Don't let him shoot, don't let him shoot! yo -hoo! A lot of contact against Dave there. A lot of contact! <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. How come? Where is Williams? Just where is he? Davo, oh, damn! Okay, at least we took a piece of him. <laughs> Three one, fine. Jeez, fine. Right here, right now, huh? He had massive amounts of space on the uh, on our left hand side. Look at that, Acres. I took out Dave at the last minute, but it wasn't good enough. The magic. Put it back. Who's coming in? You're coming in. Kick it right away. Who's that? Was that Fred? Show me who you are. Yes, it was. The Brazilian gets on the fucking score sheet. All uh, hats off to Rashford uh, for working on the left hand side. He just drags defender. Come here, defender. I'm gonna drag you. Sees the run and just finishes. Oh, somebody remind me. Whoa! Ah! That was nice. Is the space? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Can he have his hat trick? Oh, dude! <laughs> oh, dude! That was just pissing away chances for the mere hell of it. I don't think we're gonna get our hat trick. Oh, look again! Acres of space. Punch it up! Why? Oh shit! So close. Well, at the end, it's 4-1, a demolition of Aston Villa by Manchester United. Hopefully, the boys have that firepower in them and uh, get all three points, huh? Especially after the fight they showed against uh, Sheffield United. Man, that, that was so wonderful. Even if we drop points in that game, just to see him punch back. To have that fucking fighting spirit. I I, I love that. That's what makes the team uh, Manchester United, you get me? That never give up added to that never count us out man because we will come back we will fight back we'll scratch and fucking punch our way out of any situation that's within the uh, club's DNA and that's exactly what we do. hopefully the boys come out on Sunday uh, and you know get all three points as always glory glory man United I'll see you devils next time